Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about, actually mainly to do with Season 6, actually, but, you know, a bit to do with Season 5, so it's a bit of both. So, potential spoilers for the last episode of The Flash, and we should be getting one in the next few days, actually. And, yeah, because Supergirl is off right now, because there was the Super Bowl, and then I believe next week, maybe it's the Emmys, or something like that. And so if you do go on to enjoy the video, Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so in a recent episode of The Flash, we got a major teaser about a potential future villain. And this potential future villain, in fact, is called the Red Death. And so the Red Death appeared recently. It was introduced, or he was introduced in 2017 in Dark Knight's Metal and then there was a few other spin-off comic books titled The Red Death just after it was first announced and it's really interesting. I haven't got around to reading the whole thing but I will go over what I know so far and how this could link into season 6. So as you know in the past few seasons we've had lots of teasers if you remember I think it was back in season 1 we had that uh, helmet teaser with Jay Garrick's helmet and then Jay Garrick came next season and we had the mention of DeVoe multiple times by Savitar in season 3 and DeVoe became the villain and so The Flash has a really high track record of teasing things to come and this could be because they dropped Red Death they're obviously thinking about it the writers have obviously came up with the concept so maybe they're thinking of doing it as a proper full-time villain, and that's what we're going to talk about. So, by now, I'm pretty sure he exists. I think he's confirmed to exist in the Arrowverse at some point. And so, if he gets mentioned again, I would say, yeah, he's probably going to be the Season 6 villain. So I would wait for that, but for now, there is a chance and a possibility that he becomes the Season 6 villain, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So he doesn't have to be potentially linked into Batman if they can't do Batman because as you know with Savitar they totally changed his origin story and with this they can change it you know it could be to do with Batwoman it could be to do with a totally different character and you know just keep the concept of mixing this character with the Flash with a different version so it's a speedster and his name is the Red Death so it could be Oliver Queen it could be Cisco it could be anyone really anyone with powers or potentially, you know, a superhero persona that would be interesting to see on screen, like, say, Batman mixed with the Flash, equaling the Red Death in the comics, which is very interesting. I think it's about time we go back to the sort of formula from before, because I think it really works. Although not everyone's a massive fan of Savitar, I think Savitar is still better than The Thinker and Cicada. I think Cicada's much better than the thinker but i think the thinker was really weak and i think cicada's pretty good right now yeah so we've got a you know a high track record season one two three with speedster villains and i think it's about high time we go back and get a new speedster villain and a mystery villain for that fact because this season cicada at the start he was a bit of a mystery but then it got revealed really early on and it wasn't anything too surprising it was just like one little twist and that's about it and so, if we look at season 4, there was basically no mysteries apart from Nora, and that was about the only interesting thing of last season. But when we look back and we see season 1, we have the mystery of the reverse flash and all of that stuff. And then season 2, we have the man in the iron mask, who's not a villain, it's obviously Jay Garrick as it's revealed. And then we had Zoom as a mystery. We love that shit. Fans of the show love that. And I think including season 3 with that mystery, like everyone was talking about Savitar, but you don't hear anyone talking about Cicada or the Thinker in the same way as they were talking about Zoom, Savitar, the man in the Iron Mask, because there is no mystery. And I feel like a show like The Flash really relies on mystery and, you know, with the absence of mystery, perhaps it lacks. Although I think season 5 is actually really, really good. And there is lots of mysteries like... I really love the Nora and Reverse Flash stuff that they're slowly teasing out. Um, but I think the show in Season 6 will benefit to go back to the basics and explore a speedster villain, that being the Red Death, and, you know, have a mystery. Like, who could it be? If they're changing the comic books, if they're not going with Batman, they can make it anyone, literally. And I think we're in dire need of a mystery villain at this point. 
And so, we do know at the moment Bruce Wayne does exist in the Arrowverse. There's been many references, including Batwoman talking about her cousin going missing. That's like all we really know. He does exist. He's missing right now and Batman's not in Gotham. I think they have the definite possibility to change things if they introduce Red Death, which I actually really hope they do. I really hope he's a season 6 villain because I'm really in need of a speedster mystery villain at this point, if I'm honest. And so, who is the Red Death? Let's explain a bit about him. So, he was first introduced in 2017 in Dark Knight's Metal, like I said and it told the special origins of Bruce Wayne from Earth-52. So not Earth-1, not Earth-Prime or anything, and he was driven to a more extreme crime-fighting methods after losing several allies during a war. And so after Barry Allen of an alternate Earth refused to give him the Speed Force, the powers of the Speed Force, and, you know, to become a speedster, essentially, this version, the Earth- 52 version of Batman incapacitated the Flash and changed the Batmobile with a cosmic treadmill to launch the two into the Speed Force, fusing them together and creating the Red Death. And that's how Batman fused together with the Flash to get these powers to become this villain of sorts. And I think that concept's so interesting of combining two heroes, of combining perhaps a different version of the Flash. I don't think they would do that to Barry. I think it could be, you know, Jay Garrick or another version of Barry from another Earth that has the Flash powers, that would be highly interesting. And so the Red Death would introduce the idea of the Dark Multiverse, and this was introduced again in Dark Knight's Metal in 2017. It's entirely really interesting, and I think the concept would be perfect for the Flash TV show, potentially building up, you know, a whole new multiverse of worlds and new threats and new villains for the Flash to take on. and. I don't know if that would necessarily be affected by the Anti-Monitor and Crisis on Infinite Earths later next year because they haven't really done anything to do with that yet, so I'm presuming it wouldn't have too much of a big effect on the Dark Multiverse if they introduce it. So what is the Dark Multiverse? The Dark Multiverse is a shadow under the main multiverse, so the one we know with all the Earths, and so this multiverse is formed of everything to do with fear and darkness. And so the world seen in the dark multiverse is constantly deteriorating, it's rapidly breaking down in its fragile way, and it's inevitably doomed to destruction by their own construction. And actually in the comic books it's really interesting that the worlds in the dark multiverse are actually preceded by a minor sign. And this has a nice parallel to, you know, Earth 52, say, and one of the Earths in the Dark Multiverse saying their name is Minus Earth 52. I think it's a really interesting concept to have this sort of underworld of inside the multiverse and they bring it through and maybe we have lots of adventures there, maybe we pop back and forth and maybe, you know, part of the Dark Multiverse extrudes out into our multiverse and it's like a sort of zoom thing with the multiverse and how he comes from Earth 2, he brings the villains over, and maybe it's a similar thing, and I think that could really, really work, and I think the concept is, you know, perfect for the Flash TV show, and I think the Red Death is perfect for the Flash TV show, because like I mentioned, we need a speedster villain at this point, and I think we definitely need the mystery villain, and I think the Red Death is perfect, so if he gets mentioned again, I would take that as a perhaps a confirmation that he's going to appear like they did with DeVoe and various other people. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Share this video around because recently, you know, not as many people have been watching. I know it's a quiet time and, you know, YouTube's pretty screwed up right now. But yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.